Hey everybody, Jillian here. Welcome back to my channel for a brand new Bible journaling process video. Today I want to walk you through start to finish how I do a Bible journaling entry. And so today I am in the book of 1 Thessalonians. I just finished reading through this and I use my Give Me Jesus journal to journal through the Bible as I read it. So I'm writing down questions, prayers, study notes, um, so all those sorts of things as I'm really digging into um, scripture that I'm reading. And so this is a really great resource for that. I'll link it in the video description below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. Not sponsored. I pay for that journal, every single one that I use, and I have many of them. So since I'm talking about love, I wanted to use this print and pray set from Elaine Davis. Um, I'll go ahead and list the name on the bottom of the screen here. I'm actually going to use a few sets of hers, like this little flashcard um, portion came from a different set. And I'm going to use this to build my title with this stamp set from an older devotional kit from Illustrated Faith in Dayspring. So like these little labels, those are Elaine's, the, the um, print and pray set with all the hearts and things like that, that's hers also. It's just a mishmash of different things that she's designed. So as I read through 1 Thessalonians and then looked back when I was done, um, four just ideas kind of jumped out at me that I wanted to Bible journal. I really wanted, they kind of stuck with me, and I wanted to get those down in the margins of my Bible. And so this is one of them. So what I did was um, created a little list of what those were, what the passages were, and then I'll share those with you throughout the month. I have um, one on the back side of this page that is um, a video that's going to come out in a couple weeks, so can't show it to you yet, but um, but I'll definitely share the pages that I create in First Thessalonians in the coming days and weeks. I love flipping through my Bible, like flipping through a book of the Bible and seeing an entry on virtually every page. It just means that I was just soaking in the word there. So as you'll notice, the first thing that I did for this entry was to kind of figure out my title. I'm actually pulling a pa pulling part of um, 1 Thessalonians 5.8, which is the verse that I'm journaling. I'm actually pulling that um, straight from the verse where Paul says, put on faith and love. And so now that I have the title kind of figured out, it's off to the side of the screen there, I want to work on my base layer. And so I'm using, I thought maybe those two paint colors, but instead decided to swipe on some pigment ink from Illustrated Faith with a baby wipe. I wasn't sure if it was going to bleed through. I really like the entry on the back and didn't want to, um, you know, kind of alter it with some wet mediums that would bleed through. So I decided to test it on the weights and measures page, I think it was, in the back of my Bible to see like what the bleed through factor was. There really is no bleed through, just a little bit of shadow, but I did notice that when I took a wet wipe to my Bible page with this pigment ink, it kind of picked up some of the ink from the Bible page there that you can see. Um, so that was a little weird. That's never happened to me before, and I'm glad that I stopped when I did. So I find myself when I use Elaine Davis's print and pray sets that I create pages that look like Elaine's pages. And this is no exception. I'm using her baby wipe technique to get these mediums down. And I've actually seen a page of hers super similar to this where it's like a light pink page. And then she goes over it with a, like the darker red. So once that's dry, I decided to start on my next layer, which is using which is going to use some texture paste going through this stencil. So I'll link all of the products that I use down in the video description if you're interested in checking any of them out. Um, the texture paste, I just slide through the stencil with this palette knife here. And um, I just kept it white. You can mix it with paint or ink or some things or things like that to change it to whatever color you want. In this case, I really just wanted the white to pop off of the... Um, pop off of the painted background. And it is super subtle. It's difficult to see on the video, but in person you can totally see it and it looks pretty cool. So like I said, I did my title first and then typically what I do is I look for an illustration or some type of imagery to use for my entry. And so in this case, it's Elaine's print and pray set with um, those clothes and, and the hearts and things like that. And that usually sets the tone for 
the color scheme that I'm going for. And then from there, I'll go ahead and pull some additional supplies. So like here, I ended up using some enamel hearts. I want to find an ampersand. So I used um, some alpha tiles from the print and pray shop. I'll, I'll list those in the description below. And, um, and then just pulled some other things to use. So I had thought about maybe using the big brush pens to get my my like colors down on the page and um, you can see on the back side there I had just used the back of that label as kind of like a place to swatch them. Decided against that. But while I was waiting and then while I was waiting for the texture paste to dry I assembled my little layers here with the hanger and the enamel heart and and everything like that. So I didn't get a great stamp impression when I stamped down the word love, so I did it a couple times. Fortunately, it turned out pretty okay. I showed you earlier a zig writer. You can totally go over um, anything that you stamp down in black ink with this marker, and it will kind of help fill in those um, maybe spaces that didn't get as much ink coverage. And I'll actually go back in later on in the video and kind of clean it up a little bit. So now my title is done. Put on Faith and Love. And I'm just figuring out here where I want to put these adorable socks with hearts on them. I thought it would be super fun to have like an article of clothing that had hearts on them just to really illustrate this idea. But I couldn't figure out where they looked best and so decided to move on to something else. So I decided to work on the tab. I um, just used a tape runner to get it down and then I'm going to reinforce it with a little bit of like grid washi. And then I didn't really want to use the word devoted that was pre-printed on there, so I cut up one of Elaine's word fetties that says wear love and um, and just layered that over it. And then I'm going to use one of these um, kind of like scribbly hearts just uh, to embellish my tab here. And then I'll go ahead and put the other two, since I like to do things in threes, I'll go ahead and put the other two um, down towards the uh, underneath my title. And then my journaling will kind of nestle in alongside of those underneath the title. I let things hang off the edge a little bit. I just personally like that look. So I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess there. So they don't get bent or anything like that from the excess kind of hanging over the Bible page as I move around and bang it up a little bit. So here I'm using that Zig Vellum Writer uh, just to go ahead and, and color in some of those spaces that didn't get even coverage. I probably shouldn't have used the, the texture paste through this stencil until after I had done my stamping, but what are you going to do? <laughs> now I have um, some additional word fetty from a lane set that just kind of goes along with um, the verse that I was journaling. So I'm going to put that on the bottom and layer it with a couple more of these enamel hearts. And, and it took me a little bit to decide which colors to use where. So while I have you here, I'll go ahead and read the verse that I'm journaling. Like I said, it's 1 Thessalonians 5, um, 8. And it says, But since we belong to the day, let us be sober or self-controlled, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. One of the themes of 1 Thessalonians is love. And so I talk about the other two, future glory and holiness in other entries that I'll do. Um, and I'm just looking here to my notes in my Give Me Jesus journal to see like what word Fetty would be appropriate to add. And so I decided to go with this one that said set apart since, like I just mentioned, Paul talks about holiness a lot here in this letter. and like the super broad definition of holy is to be set apart, right? So I thought that worked out well. Next, I'm doing my journaling, or rather almost last, I'm doing my journaling. And it says the early church was marked by their love for and service to others. In the same way, love others, shine a light so that God will be glorified. So the verse I'm journaling is actually on the back side of this page. And so I'm going to go ahead and write the reference here at the bottom, along with that verse um, in Matthew 5, verse 16, that I had just mentioned about shining a light so that um, others will see and that our Father will be glorified. 
Then I'm going to finish that off with a date stamp and that's pretty much going to do it. So that's kind of my really quick in a nutshell thought process from start to beginning of a Bible journaling entry. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you. I'm so glad to be back and sharing again. Not sure how consistent it's going to be, but bear with me. I've got a, uh, a newborn and adjusting to life as a family of four. So again, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.